in this video we are going to discuss about even and odd signals so you know about even and odd signals in a previous classification topic we already discussed a small introduction about even and odd signals even signal is a signal so if a signal satisfies the condition x of t is equal to x of minus t that means see the reflected version of uh, signal is equal to the given signal then that is said to be even signal if that is not going to satisfy if you are getting a uh, minus in the reflected version then that is called as odd signal that means a signal is said to be even when it satisfies the condition x of t equal to x of minus t so here we can take example of cos t t square t power 4 etc as even signals for example if you are having a signal x of t is equal to cos t if you calculate x of minus t what you are getting x of minus t is equal to cos minus t you know cos minus t is equal to cos t again you are getting same x of t so you are satisfying x of t is equal to x of minus t condition so cos t is a even signal for example if you are having x of t is equal to t square t square or any even power if you are having then x uh, so here you can take e power uh, 2 uh, e power t power uh, 2n you can consider t power 2n so t power 2n indicates t power 2n indicates that say even power so always 2n is nothing but even 2 into anything you will get a even signal so t power 2n indicates that say even signal so x of t equal to for example i am considering t square this is a signal so here for example if you are calculating x of minus t then you are going to get minus t whole square so that is equal to again t square minus square is plus t square you are getting so this t square is nothing but whatever signal we are having that is so this signal is also satisfies the condition x of t equal to x of minus t so this is also a even signal like that t power 4 t power 6 t power 8 t power 2 in signals are nothing but even signals not only this cos and t so you need to satisfy this condition whatever the signals are satisfying this condition are said to be even signals for example a odd signal so a signal is said to be odd signal when it satisfies the condition x of t is equal to minus x of minus t that means whatever uh, even condition is there if you are getting so negative of that signal then you are getting so odd signal that means that is said to be odd signal so here for example we can take sin t t t cube and all odd powers you can consider so for example you can consider t power 2n plus 1 always t power 2n plus 1 will be odd signal so here i am going to check whether these signals are even or odd for example i am considering sin t so if i consider sin t here then if i consider x of minus t then what we are getting is sin of minus t you know that sin of minus theta is equal to minus sin theta so like that if sin of minus theta is equal to minus sin theta by taking the reference we can write sin of minus t as minus sin t so you know that sin t is your actual signal so then this is equal to minus x of t then you can see we satisfied the condition x of t x of minus t equal to minus x of t if you send this minus to this side what you are getting x of t equal to minus x of minus t so then we can say this signal is an odd signal for example if you consider so x of t is equal to t cube if you consider then if you substituted t is equal to minus t minus t whole cube minus whole cube you are getting minus into minus plus into minus so that means totally you are getting minus t cube this is nothing but minus x of t if you send this minus to this side you are getting x of t equal to x minus x of minus t again this is also satisfying the condition of odd signal so this is said to be a odd signal now 
coming to the combination of signals so how we can define how we can say whether the combination of signal results a odd signal or even signal now you can see we are having some note points very important points these points are very very important for gate like technical exams we can consider as shortcut also so here sum of two or more even functions so sum of two or more even functions means so like this so you can uh, consider sum of two or more this is even function this is also even function sum of two or more even functions so this is cos t so like this or product of two or more even functions that means so here t square into cos t so like this or product of even number of odd functions that means like this t cube into so sin t so like this product of even number of odd functions so this is odd function this is odd function so product of two odd functions that means product of even number of odd functions so this is this is even and this is even so product of two or more even functions so here sum of two or more even functions will result say even function why because if you consider x of t is equal to like this and if you consider x of t is equal to like this if you consider x of t is equal to like this if you if you um, substituted minus t in place of x of t then what you are going to get minus t whole square plus minus t whole power 4 plus cos of minus t you are going to get the same thing that means x of minus t also you are going to get x of t now here if you substituted minus t in place of x of t then minus t whole square cos of minus t again you are going to get the same thing here if you substituted x of minus t then what you are going to get minus t whole cube sin of minus t so here minus t whole cube is minus t cube into sin of minus t is equal to minus sin t minus minus will become plus minus into minus will become plus so remaining is t cube into sin t same thing that means x of minus t is equal to x of t so this point is very very important when you saw the combination like this that means if you added two or more even functions if you taken product of two or more even functions if you are having product of even number of odd functions then the resultant signal is definitely a even signal no need to calculate once again no need to substitute x of minus t once again so by observing the given problem itself you can say whether it is even or odd basing uh, on this based on this uh, re uh, relation statement so now here we are having another statement for resulting odd function so here sum of two or more odd functions or product of odd number of odd functions sum of two or more odd functions means you can uh, consider t cube plus t power 7 plus sin t like this you can consider as x of t so x of t is a combination of two or more odd functions here addition of two or more odd functions this will result odd function only or x of t if you consider like a combination of functions in the product so if you consider t cube into t power 7 into sin t that means odd number of odd functions then you are going to get so you can consider like this also sin t t cube into sin t into if you have any doubt when we uh, multiplied the t cube and t power 7 again if you are uh, making t power 10 for t cube into sin t into sin 2t like this if you are having so sin 2t is also odd function so all sine functions are odd functions if you are having t cube sin t into sin 2t like this if you are having so now when you are calculating x of t then you need to substitute x of minus t if you substituted x of minus t here one minus will come here also one minus will come here also one minus will come minus into minus into minus you are getting minus t cube sin t sin 2t then you are going to satisfy the relation of odd function so that signal is uh, resulting signal of that combination is said to be a odd function so by this note you need to understand sum of two or more even 
product of two or more even or a product of even number of odd functions will result C when but here to get the odd function sum of two or more odd functions or product of odd number of odd functions will always results odd function. This is about even and odd functions in signals and systems. In the next class, we will discuss about even and odd components also that is very very important. We are having so many problems related to that in gauge.